it's getting close to another uh, dune strip next week we're gonna go so in the meantime i decided that i would uh, work on the alignment on the razor so i got shock therapies uh, bump steer kit so on a typical razor can am whatever side by side um, what their kit does is it raises and lowers the uh, tie tie rod end here so what that does is you can go to their website and read more about it they've got some good youtube videos but on a typical stock one you end up when the suspension move, cycles up and down you'll end up with uh, the amount of toe changing so get this toe kick kit this one happens to be from high lifter makes it very handy for setting your alignment what i did was i started with zero spacers kind of checked where that left me out and then just uh, play with spacers again look at their charts on here it'll tell you so that's the list this is really handy so if you're getting you know three eighths a bump steer they're going to tell you to use the 0.5 spacer you uh, just play with those settings and then get it to where when you cycle the suspension up and down, you get as minimal amount of toe change as possible. And if you want to work with it for a couple hours and be motivated like I did, then you will get this result, which I'm pretty happy about. Right now, the razor's lifted up. It's easiest to take the shocks off so you aren't putting stress on that plate. But anyway... I have my uh, limit strap in there so I know where full droop is at. So I put it at full droop. What do we have here? So we are measuring 62 and 13 sixteenths, 62 and 13 sixteenths. And then what we wanna do is cycle it through down to full, and it doesn't really have to be full full compressed but as low as you can get it so i'll just go down to where it's sitting on the jack basically so what i ended up with is we are at 67 and 7 eighths 67 and 7 eighths that is uh that's worth it so right now i have zero bump steer or zero toe change uh, through cycling the suspension. What did I have when I started? I know it's a mess of pages and pages of results with, um, you know, cycling the suspension up and down, changing different spacers. So my very first with its stock, I ended up with an inch and three sixteenths toe change. So that's why, that's why we do the bump steer. Yeah, the sand soaks up a lot of it, but any little bit of that stuff that you can get rid of, it makes uh, steering easier. It makes your, uh, you know, one tire or the other going over the whoops. It will keep it from, you know, wanting to steer on its own. So anyway, I recommend you guys look into that kit. I think it was 120 bucks. It's pretty cheap. I just wanted to note here real quick. So right now it is set at zero toe in or toe out. And I will probably do, I think shock therapy says they run, I don't remember if it was a 16th or something toe in. So I'll try that. All I gotta do is uh, just turn, turn the tie rods equally because my steering wheel is straight now. So anyway, I highly recommend it. it. I'll maybe let you guys know in a future video how it works in the dunes, but like driving it out in the parking lot here with an inch and three sixteenths when you hit the bumps out here. If you aren't hanging onto the steering wheel, it's gonna move you around. So. Okay, to quickly follow up, I just do wanna say the uh, shock therapy BSD or bump steer delete kit is worth it. I know a lot of you guys are, you know, questioning aftermarket parts and the companies always say, oh yeah, we've got the best, but this is truly legitimate. I went from inch and three sixteenths toe change to zero so yes in my instance this kit did work i'm happy with it i've put it on a couple other buddies cars and it's worked good on those too so got to give them a thumbs up it works it's not very expensive and uh, i think you guys will enjoy it you'll enjoy the feeling of you know when your razor actually doesn't have a ton of bump steer so anyway get your kit i fully support shock therapy on this one thanks guys
If you like our video, like and subscribe.